Hi, my name is Bernard Sheridan. I'd like to welcome you back to Par Breakers Golf Academy. And today it's my pleasure to show you the swing of Lucy Lee, an 11 year old who's making history by qualifying for the 2014 U.S. Women's Open. Lucy did that by playing in California at the old course at Half Moon Bay in a sectional qualifier this past Monday shooting a 74 and a 68. It's absolutely remarkable and we're really looking forward to what this young lady has to bring as time moves on. So let's take a look at her swing and what I want you to notice is she has a neutral grip and her upper body is standing very tall and she has a slight knee bend and as she starts back what I want you to notice is that she maintains that Y that her arms make right in front of her chest nice chest rotation and she has not yet hinged her hands by the nine o'clock position and as she continues up and continues to turn right when her arms get parallel to the ground is when she starts to hinge and her lower body I want you to notice her feet are very very quiet so this is a great great thing to take away from a real solid swing and turn as to how quiet her lower body is. This allows her to stay on her post and stay very steady so that the bottom of her swing arc on the downswing will constantly be in the same place. As she starts down what we're going to see is start of a move of the lower body moving towards the target and rotating back. So her left leg and her left hip are moving straight back. What I want you to notice too is that as her arms start to come around they are very much in front of her and she, which is helping her create more lag. And her right arm is still folded as she rotates and clears. Now as she gets to impact that right arm still has a fold in it so which means that she hasn't had full extension yet there's impact right arm is folded and head is still on the ball left hand is flat in other words the back of her left wrist is flat and facing the target so a lot of forward shaft lean going on here so she is hitting down through the ball and she has a good weight shift right foot heel is off the ground if we take a notice where does that happen by the time she gets that left arm back to parallel to the ground as soon as it starts to go below that that right heel starts to come up that's really allowing her to clear her body out of the way to create a tremendous amount of power okay which of course as an 11 year old um, in order to qualify for the for the US Open she has to hit the ball pretty far so how far is her average drive right around 200 yards which is far enough for her to qualify so as she gets to impact there's a total clear now that right arm starts to fully extend and that's really where the entire release happens okay again she has rotated around and her upper torso has that Y going on with her arms once again and that is all directly in front of her sternum. This is some really great stuff that you can use in your swing. As she gets to the finish that head rotates with shoulders it does not stay back folks I see so many players that by the time they get to this position 
their head is still back here where Lucy's is at impact. But that head rotates with her shoulder rotation. And she just releases fully to the target and gets everything right over top of that left leg, that front leg, to a full finish, which allows her to get that shoulder all the way to the target. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Stuff that you can try to emulate in your swing. It's amazing that an 11-year-old can have a swing like this. But with the great instruction that's going on today and the wonderful technology that we have to, to pull from and the fantastic technology that is getting equipment to be really incredible to be able to max out the maximum potential of the player, then that's why all these things are happening and that's why we are seeing young ladies like Lydia Ko and Lucy Lee dominate at a very young age. So this is a great, great thing for golf and we hope to see it continue. And congratulations to Lucy Lee on making an historic milestone in golf. And we're really looking forward to watching this young lady grow into a respectable young golfer, which I believe she already is. So for Par Breakers Golf Academy, this video was an absolute pleasure for me to do. And until next time, Try to keep it in the short grass. We'll see you next week.